Danny Flexen for seconds out of Matchroom Elite Gym. Delighted to be joined by Ted Cheeseman, once again the British Super Worldweight Champion. First day back in the gym, is it? Yeah, first day back in the gym, thanks. How, how is it? A bit, a bit of rust to knock off? Um, you know what? Feel feel quite fresh, I had a nice break. Um, just now, nah, sort of, it, it just gives you that bit of um, drive to get back to where you was, to get back to the fitness you was. Something to work towards, and sometimes you go a bit stale if you're always in the gym, oh. gym all the time. And now, nah, Straight away now, I'm all, all I'm thinking about is um, getting my next date and pushing towards that. Yeah, you've had a bit of, um, I don't want to call it harassment, but it's bordering on that on social yeah. media from Anthony Fowler. Yeah. What's, uh, what have you made of all that? Um, it's desperation, mate. When you get desperate people at desperate times, you know what I mean? But to be honest, he wants to fight, he's pushing all the fight. If, if I had no options and I was, I was the biggest fight out there for me, I'd be pu pushing for it as well. But, as I said in all the other interviews, um, I'll fight anyone, but it's about the right fights at the right time, so I'll let my team do that. And just for people out there, why is Fowler not the right fight at the right time? I mean, I think I know the answer, but... Yeah, what, what does Fowler bring to the table for me? Nothing. I'll bring everything to, for him, but he brings nothing for me. Yeah. And you're obviously IBF highly ranked now. Yeah. Are you looking towards an eliminator? Would that be an ideal next step? Um, as I said, it's whatever my team wants, but I'd love push that towards that route because that's what we can't, when you, when you um, start boxing, when I start boxing, the 12 year old kid, my, my dream wasn't to be Olympic champion, it was to be world champion, you, just, you don't look at all the Olympic champions until you've been in the boxing game a few years and know what the amateur game is about. When you start <coughs> boxing, your ultimate dream is to look at someone like Mike Tyson, Ricky Atom, them sort of fighters and be a world champion. And if you look to ranked ahead of you in the IBF rating, you kind of thought out that style of me, that style might not, that kind of thing. Um, I think once you get to that, that sort of um, numbers in the rankings, every fighter there is a, is a good fighter. And um, to be to try and become world champion, I believe you have to be able to pop your ways and adapt to all styles. So you shouldn't be looking at just picking out one, you've just got to be ready for all of them. Where are the little improvements going to come from with you now? Obviously, I saw some of the work you were doing earlier, it looked quite technical. Is that the main thing, kind of those little kind of nuances, little new moves and, and skills? Yeah, of course. Cool. Um, picking up new things from each fight. Um, every fight, I'm getting a lot of experience. I've had a lot of, a lot of good fights, a lot of tough fights. Picking up loads of experience, and it's the ring craft. You know what I mean? I've got a lot of ring craft now, um, and that's the main thing. Just little, little um, tactics, tactic stuff against different opponents. What's going to help me just add that bit extra? And obviously you did the game and you to move to the world title, but how much would you like to avenge the two defeats on your record, even if that means a slower route to a world title? Yeah, I, I, I would love to um, avenge both them defeats, but sometimes it's not about um, looking back in the past and regretting, it's about just pushing on. Yeah, no, I can understand that. Wh which of the two defeats kind of hurts you more? Because I guess one you felt you've done enough to win, the other you felt you didn't give the best account of yourself. So which one kind of plays on your mind? It's hard to say, but um, on, on angry feeling, um, on, on disappointed on the way things went because of how I felt about Scott Fitzgerald, but disappointed mostly on performance and how I was and what position I was in for the Sergio Garcia fight. But, as I said loads of times before, it was a blessing in disguise that happened. Otherwise, I wouldn't be sitting here um, in, the position I, in the position I am now. The shot that ended things against James Metcalf, which was a great fight, we all enjoyed it. Was that, do you think, the best shot you've ever thrown, or certainly the best <coughs> you've ever landed? Uh, to be honest, like, no respect to JJ Metcalf, it's a really good fight, but <laughs> it, it, it was gone from the shot before that, and it was a bit of a free shot, so it made it look much better, you know what I mean? Uh, Quite yeah, <laughs> I, I think I think um, as everyone's seen, I've had very hard fights. It ain't easy to just come across these knockouts. You know what I mean? So if you look at the Sam Egan fight, I hurt him numerous times, but he's a very tough fighter. And I think you can see as the fights are coming on and I'm improving, my man strength is also coming. I'm only 25, so I'm only getting stronger and stronger, and I'm only improving more and more. So I think the best is still yet to come. The next time out, maybe, you know, chinny banger, get him out early, have a nice yeah. early night for a change. Yeah, fingers crossed, uh, a one round fight, uh, <laughs> do me a favour for once. I, I had no gimmies really for a long, long time and I never really had much gimmies, so it'd be nice, but it's hard when you get to this level. 
you're there and um, there ain't really that many easy fights. You can get easier fights. And hopefully we get one of those. Um, hopefully I get someone who, who who's a big name, who, who maybe I can gain a lot of experience off. Give me a few rounds, learn. Give, just get, keep giving me more ring craft. And obviously, something that people are, gonna, are not just going to expect me to blow over, obviously, because it's never going to happen now where I'm at. But something that I can get my teeth into, you know what I mean? And it's been reported recently, it hasn't been confirmed yet, but it's been reported that uh, Matchroom are moving their stable in the UK from Sky Sports to The Zone. Um, how do you think that will affect a fighter who's in or around your level, so domestic, pushing on towards world class? I'm not sure. Um, I ain't really got a clue, because <coughs> we just get on with it and we fight, but I feel, nah, moving to the zone, I'll be in a, in a very good position, as my last few fights have been on the zone. They've been really enjoyable fights and entertaining fights, and I think the American um, public love entertaining fights, and I think I've gained a lot of support out there, so I think they'll be looking forward to seeing me on there again. And you obviously just had some time off. Has it been nice spending some time with the family? Yeah, it's been great. Um, little Ted's becoming a real big, like, real character now. Yeah. He's trying his hardest to talk every day. Um, he, he's copying everything. Um, he knows what he wants now when he does stuff. He calls you, tells you what he wants, gets the TV control points at the TV. So it's really good to see that and spend a bit of time with him. And I think it's mad because when I'm at training all the time, he's sort of all for his mum. And when I come home, he's okay with me. And like, oh, it's good, but he's sort of he's used to his mum. But then when I'm there all the time for a little while, he starts being a bit biased to me. <laughs> she gets a bit jealous. I was going to say a bit jealous. Yeah, like that. yeah, she gets a bit jealous. But it always swings back now, back in, in training. He's back all for her because where he's with her most of the time. And um, you said in the build-up to the Metcalf fight, I think you were, what, two years bet free? Yeah. Uh, how much of an achievement do you see that as? Obviously, you've got your boxing achievements, and that's all great. Uh, that's a personal achievement. You've really overcome a, a difficulty. Yeah, yeah, no, it's probably one of my biggest achievements of day. Without doing that, I probably, um, my life would have been a whirlwind and mess. It's still now, so um, it's a great thing to do. And hopefully, this time next year, I'll be telling you it's free. You know. I'll hopefully be in a much better position boxing-wise as well. Yeah, great stuff. Cheers, man. Thanks.